Oh my goodness gracious, it drives me crazy. So with the whole argument that men prefer younger women, okay, if you if a man is dating purely out of something that is superficial, then I suppose you could make the argument that men prefer younger women. I would say that men who are superficial and insecure and would not do no, the, uh, having a relationship of substance is not of a priority to them, maybe they would prefer younger women. Because the reason why the majority of these men prefer younger women is because mentally, those are the only people who who are going to keep up with them, okay? It's less about <laughs> wanting someone who's younger, it's more about wanting someone who's relatable. And a lot of these men are stunted in their developmental, in their mental, mm -hmm. Yeah. okay? Of course. It doesn't matter how successful they are, yeah. oftentimes, even if the like, more successful they are, the more stunted they are in an emotional and mental way, okay? Because they've been operating. The reason why a man would prefer a woman his own age is because of substance. Because you're not gonna have a lot in common with a woman who's much younger. Yeah, it's just a bunch of cope. Like the amounts of copium in this TikTok are just so insane. Let me explain to you briefly, honey. Maybe you're gonna understand. The reason why all these successful older men want younger women is one, they are better looking. She's young, she's in the prime of her life, she's having insane amounts of good sex and they want that because maybe when they were at that age they didn't get to so now they are in a position where they want to get second those women are fertile those are the most fertile years even a 50 year old a 60 year old a 70 year old man is if he has a bunch of women to choose from he will always choose the young woman like the one who's in her early 20s developed she looks stunning she's young she's fertile that will always always be the most attractive years of her life always without a doubt and what i'm thinking is that you are salty because you're obviously of a certain age and you are jealous that the men that you want for their money and resources don't want you they want the younger woman you had your chance when you were young but you didn't want to waste your life the best years of your life on a relationship so you hold around from men to men and now it's like why all are all these men not wanting me it must be them they are immature if your man said no more girls nights in miami how would you feel i would think that it's wrong and i would be like i'm gonna do whatever i want exactly. and if you don't trust me enough for me to go out with my girls then why would i be with you wouldn't it be safe to say that you're putting yourself in a unsafe environment though like if i'm in like an unsafe environment like guys wise i yes. can choose whether or not i want to like talk to whoever i want or like go with whoever i want do you think that when women go into certain environments they're showcasing that they're still on the market honestly no i think it's yes it's different for guys and girls too i feel like mostly guys go out to you know see girls but if you're like with a group like with your friends like having fun or like celebrating something then obviously not but if I'm just going out and like trying to talk to guys and yeah but in general I don't think so like if you're going out with like your friends or like guys are going out together like you're just trying to have fun somewhere I mean at a certain age too it's like what do you do besides go to a bar or a club like you can hang out at someone's house but if you want to be around people and meet people then yeah you see, she's gaslighting you. She knows exactly that what he said was true. When you go out, especially dressing like that with a bunch of makeup and all sorts of stuff, of course you want to look good, but you're also putting yourself out there for the market. Maybe there's a better uh, option out there. I still want to have some fun. I still want the attention. I still want the validation. I'm still in those years. A woman that doesn't want a relationship is not gonna is gonna think like that. A woman that truly loves her future husband or her actual husband is not she's not she's gonna be the one that's gonna say nah, I'm not really I don't I just want to be with you I don't want to go out but they don't want that so obviously their arguments are gonna shift to, towards their needs would you be okay with your long-term monogamous partner going to a bar club party like type environment where He's going to be approached, flirted with, and pursued by numerous attractive women. Some of which are more attractive than you and could potentially be a better partner than you. They'll be buying him drinks, getting him drunk, and enthusiastically trying to sleep with him that night and steal him away from you. You're telling me that you would be okay with that? They will say yes, because they cannot say no. The moment they say no, they will admit that they <laughs> they will admit that they have a double standard 
So obviously they cannot say they have to keep the same line and make up a bunch of bullshit in their head to justify their shitty behavior. Coming from where I'm sitting now, I'm not doing no more wife. All right, you're getting the bare minimum. You're getting the bare minimum, and that's good enough. All right, and then you can unlock the rest. How exciting. You don't get to just have your cake and eat it too. You don't get to just have me do wifey things for you and not actually wife me up. Like, no, I'm not doing any more wife for anybody that's not ready to upgrade their subscription. Like, that's the way that it is. You either pay extra or you get the basic service. All right? That's not really an argument, but you see how she's uh, looking at marriage and relationships in her head, right? It's it's a business move. It's like, no, no, you got to upgrade the package. You got to do this, this, this. Wife me up. So I own half the stuff that you own. You know, there's a legal contract between us and the state, right? So now I have extra power. And guess what? When you wife her up, she's not going to do the wifey stuff unless you keep putting, investing money into her. And she's not going to love you. She's not going to respect you. And you're just a hamster on wheels because you wanted... Uh, puss puss and you want that good you got it good pay the price bitch okay if you're doubting my last video and you're thinking mm, no you can put a guy off yeah you can uh no you can't and let me give you some evidence to support my theory okay yeah. case study i'm gonna use my boyfriend because it's easy so when we first met um very soon into the relationship and into dating I started, not intentionally, but I couldn't help it. I was doing things that I, I considered potentially icky. So like I wasn't polished every day. I was a bit of a chaotic mess at that stage of our relationship. I was, I had anxiety. Mm -hmm. On our second date, I had a panic attack. <laughs> like we were at a festival trying to leave and I hate crowds and I get claustrophobic and I had a full blown panic attack. This guy barely knew me, but I, I was just like having a panic attack. Like I couldn't help it. And right. I now say to him, wow, like, was that not slightly jarring? Did that not, like, put you off? No. No. Guys make the decision quickly that they like you. So it didn't matter what I said. It didn't matter what I did. He was in it. It was fine. He was into it. I couldn't put him off. Fast forward a year later, still relatively early into a long-term relationship, I slipped my disc and I couldn't walk. I could not walk. He took time off work to basically be my carer he had to shower me he had to take me to the bathroom he had to do everything for me yes he's a man we got it let's skip to the end i think when they like a woman they like a woman they're decisive they just they're set on it that's it end of story full stop yeah for us there's loads of ifs and buts oh i like him but he did this and now i'm not sure and blah 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 let's talk about it and think about it for five weeks Guys just don't really work like that. And I think that's such a good thing because it means that you cannot mess up something with the guy that is right for you. It is impossible. I mean, yeah, that's not true. Anyway, go and cheat on him. Go be a bitch. Moan, whine all the time about trivial stuff that doesn't really matter. See how long that relationship will last. It's like, yes, you can definitely 100% screw that relationship up. But it's up to you to not be a shitty person. And it's up to him to not be a shitty person. So you guys can coexist in this beautiful, beautiful relationship. Huh?